fingerprints using a chemical reaction. The star of the show today will be Nin Hydrin. Nin what? I'll explain now. Nin Hydrin is an organic compound that reacts to amino acids, turning them purple. This means that you can collect fingerprints in porous and non-porous surfaces using these chemicals, but it is mostly used on paper since it's a type of porous surface that is difficult to work with powders. The most common real life scenarios in which this chemical is used is usually to find fingerprints in letters, wills, or any official document. It helps forensic scientists determine who handled the document. This technique is easy to implement and also reduces the time that the evidence takes to be analyzed. However, this chemical leaves behind a stained document that cannot be replaced. These purple stains are irreversible. In addition to this, ninhydrin is now used in its pure form. This powder that I have right here, it's ninhydrin, but we're going to mix it with acetone. This solvent is going to reduce the concentration, making it safer to handle. However, the presence of acetone in this process is going to damage the ink of the document that we're analyzing. Acetone breaks down the ink, smudging everything and making a mess. For that reason, you must make copies of the document that you are going to be analyzing before destroying the original copy. Also, be careful when handling this chemical. Remember that amino acids are all over our body. If you happen to get that chemical in your body, which you shouldn't do, it will turn your skin purple. Yeah, last year um, I was performing a project and I wanted to clean something with alcohol. I grabbed a bottle of alcohol and when I was cleaning, I realized it was ninhydrin. By the time it was already too late, my hands were purple and my research teammate has her, had her hands purple too. And it was a couple days before the graduation. Yeah, she had to go to graduation with purple hands. It was a mess. I'm sorry, Ashley, if you're watching this. <laughs> For this reason, you should always wear the appropriate personal a protective equipment. Let's begin by changing into the appropriate personal protective equipment. But I look too good on this outfit. Yeah, but you will not look good with respiratory diseases or an allergic reaction. You will need to wear an apron that protects your body and clothing. Goggles to prevent the chemical from reaching your eyes. Natural gloves that will not dissolve with the chemicals we are handling. In our case, we will also need a face mask since we are working on a funeral. Damn, this is a lot. Now the materials for the project. We will need a paper from where the latent fingerprints will be collected and a spray bottle that contains an enhancer. You must ensure that your spray bottle gives you a nice mist and not an intense stream. We will also need to have a scale to place it next to the marks that will be revealed. Taking a picture of these marks is indispensable as they cannot be lifted like those that we created with the powders. And of course, you will need a camera to take the pictures, but for Braddock's economic sake, we will use our phones. Let's not go into the steps. As promised, this will be an easy procedure. Place the sample that you are analyzing on top of a tray. Hold on! You can use the plastic cover or anything else that will prevent you from making a mess and will be easy to clean afterwards. From a distance, spray the chemical on the paper. If you spray too much of the chemical, it could soften the paper, which could crumble or destroy the paper. The fingerprints are also erased if you add too much of the liquid concentration. Wait, what's next? We wait! Yeah, we're just missing one hour and 59 more minutes. Hell no! And we're back. We skipped you the two hour wait time. That will have been a very long video. And most importantly, we brought you back the results. As you can see here, the fingerprints turn purple. This is due to the chemical reaction between mean hydrate and amino acids. These stain marks are super easy to photograph, and you can send them to the lab for a later comparison. Before we go, we must remind you that all the area that was contaminated with Ning Hydrin solution must be cleaned with running water. Don't attempt to use cleaning sprays. They contain strong chemicals like hydrogen peroxide, ammonia, or even chlorine, and they could make a strong chemical reaction with the Ning Hydrin. 
As for today, this will be all. We hope this helped you become a better kindness ignition. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can watch our upcoming videos. Bye! We're back. We'll skip you the two hour... Two hour wait time. Wait time. Can I jump? Yeah. <laughs> Maria, we're waiting for you! <laughs> oh my god!